giant mouse, iconic. Just got my coffee, stopped at the gas station, got the kids dropped off, waiting for a package to show up from FedEx. I don't know what it is, but I'm actually super excited. Let's first take a sip. Always the best, always the best. Always the hottest too, whoo. I gotta do a pocket check for the Instagram. Now we get called out, you gotta, you gotta send one back here, so. What's going on here? Called out by Alpha Prime EDC. Brad, I've got the giant mouse Tribeca in the pocket here in titanium with the Lynch clip. And on the wrist, of course you wanna know what's on the wrist, is the Black Tip 42 by Monterey Watchco. Just a beautiful, beautiful watch. What's in your pockets? I'm calling out Ron Kwok, Live With Purpose, Ricky Hernandez, Captain Ricky, and Ian Coates. What's in the pockets? So if you know, you know, you gotta do the watch check, you gotta do the pocket check here. So thanks for letting me do that really quick here. And uh, you wanna see that? Oh man, is that just not beautiful? I, I'm a huge, huge Giant Mouse fan. Anything Vox needs designs, I'm a huge fan. Oh, you wanna see this watch? Oh, you heard that, didn't you? So this is the Monterey Watch Go. This is the Black Tip 42. Is that just not beautiful? Oh, look at the, uh, the detail in the back here. And of course the logo here. Living the life. Mm. Man, that's so good. Let's go inside here. I'll meet you guys down at the Barbarian Bar. Let's go over the box from House of Blades. Got the coffee, I got my box. Let's go. Today is our segment that I'm gonna show you guys some awesome knives and some other gear from House of Blades. I'm super excited because there are some grail pieces that I personally really, really want. Let's go. Where do we even begin? Cold Steel, Tecto, Olight. All right, so let's start out here with the Giant Mouse Ace. Let me, let me grab a quick Hank here. Here's my Hank from Awesome Hank. And Oh man, light came down on me, scared the bejeepers out of me. These are Hanks from Awesome Hank and Gear. This is the Atelier from House of Blades. Pull up the website here. Uh, right now it's currently going for 215 and it is in stock. You got the LMAX blade steel. It is stone washed. You got a blade length of 2.875 inches and a four inch handle. Almost perfect. Honestly, this is kind of my go-to size personally. And of course that micarta handle, I, I'm just a fan of that. Um, the manual folder type, of course. One other thing here, you do have a liner lock. The Super, super drop shuddy. Um, it is ambidextrous, so you can swap the pocket clip over. And of course, you know, if you want to be uh, ambidextrous, a tip up, of course. I personally like that. One thing I do want to say is just look at the finishing there. It's just, it's just stunning. I like that a lot. It is a plain edge, and the origin is Italy. And ergonomics, let's just go back to that again. Just a big fan of how it feels in the hand. The Giant Mouse Atelier in L Max. You do have the wire pocket clip. You do have a lanyard hole. Just listen, or listen and watch. Oh, it just, it's just so good. And the color of the micarta is the red canvas. Definitely a fan favorite on my part. I do love that knife. I'll throw that back in here. What should we see next? All right, so here is the AD15 by Cold Steel, a Andrew Demco design. Currently this one I believe, as I'm looking at here, is out of stock, but I believe this one comes in and out of stock quite a bit. Um, it's a knife that probably doesn't stay on the shelves very long. It is a I wouldn't say a monster, but it's, it's definitely a workhorse. If you haven't seen the full video on this one, I do have a full length video on the AD15 by Cold Steel. 
and you can see my full impressions on it. And you no, know, I'll just kind of give you a quick upfront. It I like it a lot. <laughs> I like it a, a lot, lot. <laughs> just a beast of a knife here. Uh, quick specs here, of course. Like I said, it is out of stock right now, but that doesn't mean it's not going to be in stock soon here. So let's talk about that blade steel. Of course, you have the Oz 10A Taiwan, and. Just look how shiny that is. <laughs> it is in stone wash. You got a blade length of three and a half inches and an overall length from tip to butt of eight and a half inches. The handle is FRN. The lock here is called the Scorpion Lock. Ah, it is cool. It is one of those more rugged style knives. You do have a plain edge. And of course it is ambidextrous as well. So you can flip that tip around, or sorry, clip around on each side. Super cool idea to do that if you are left-handed or maybe you have purposes like currently right now, I've got two knives in here. I've got one on my left-hand side and one on my right-hand side. I've got a uh, Leatherman Skeletool, sorry, Leatherman Signal. Sorry, I forgot what was in my pocket today. And uh, giant mouse Tribeca. So they both are in opposite pockets. Anyways, enough about what's in my pockets. Go back to the cold steel <laughs> uh, AD15. I love how aggressive that jimping is. If you've seen the full length video on this knife specifically, you saw me holding this with a pair of gloves. Um, this is, uh, you could probably make that a finger choil, but I would probably say no, it's a little small, more of a sharpening choil once again. And it, it can be very drop shutty. I love how big the pocket clip is. I'm a fan of this. I really am. I'm also a fan of Andrew Demko designs. I've got a few other brands from Andrew Demko that he's designed. And once again, oh man, that is just, just a beast. A beast. Like I said, uh, when they are in stock, they go for, it shows here, um, 99 bucks of course you can use my affiliate link remember barbarian is going to get you 10 percent off another knife i i'm a fan of i like this knife a lot let's transition over to a flashlight this is the warrior 3 s titanium in stone wash What you're going to get here is a sheath inside this one as well. Inside here is going to be your uh, just normal stuff that you get with Olight. Of course, your charger, your instructions. And let's just take a look here. How much is it going right now? $159.99. Not bad. Of course, your codes, my code is going to get you a discount off this here. Um, this is honestly a pretty sweet flashlight. I was playing with this not too long ago. And just look at that. I kind of thought it reminded me of a uh, Star Wars lightsaber. <laughs> we, I digress. Like stonewashed titanium. I mean, it is so good. It, it, can you fault me for thinking that looks like a, a lightsaber? Of course, you've got a button down here. you got your button up here. And it's got these little light indicators, so it will tell you, you know, whether you are on the low, medium, on this side here, it's got your battery, and on this side here, it's going to show you your high, low, medium, and high, or turbo. We got four of them, so turn it on. Uh, so that must be medium. So there's your low. And that's your, I mean, that's like super low. I think it's one lumen or five lumens. And then medium. Hold it down again. And it, this, is, this is seriously a powerful... Powerful, powerful light. I'm, I'm a fan of it. I don't know. I just think OLED's got some cool stuff here. Of course, you got your attack striker is what I like to call that. It's got the clip that I also like, so it appeals to me very much. You know, you can put it in your pocket or, you know, if you want to wear it on the brim of your hat or, gosh, there's so many other things you can do with this light. I'm a fan. I mean, would I say this is an EDC light? This is more of like your trekking, um, maybe in the uh, vehicle, uh, maybe a stowaway in the glove box, because this is going to be something that's very rugged. Like I said, you could do a lot with this thing. This thing is sweet. <laughs> I'm an Olight fan, so there's that too as well. Quick text specs here, of course, on the light. You got to know. You're curious. I'm also curious because, well, like I said, it's cool and I want one. So you've got a turbo of 
1850, so 1,850 lumens, a high of 650 lumens. The high has 240 minutes, holy smokes. Medium is 200 lumens, and that low is 15 lumens, and then like I said, that moon is one lumen. You can put that on that moon for one lumen for 55 days on a full charge battery. That is absolutely incredible. Wow, okay. <laughs> I, I'm impressed. And that is a light that I would like to just use for you know, a week and see, see if those specs are real because that is incredible. That is cool. Show you the, uh, the pouch here. Very nice. It's got a little soft microfiber on the inside, Olight tag, and clip it on a belt, clip it on Molly. It's got two spots in here actually, check this out. So, so you can clip it over into some molly web or you can wear it over a belt like that so it's a little bit small oh man a little bit smaller spot this is a nice sheet this is really kind of uh catering to a lot of different people as well super nice light i haven't honestly seen too many people talk about this flashlight so kind of thrilled about being able to show you guys that once again um another light that i wouldn't mind getting my hands on one bit Mm, let's let's show the iconic all right so here is the iconic you can see here that there are multiple iconics here the one we have is with the partial serrated the camo blade and of course you can get an od green you can get it in blue stone wash and a plain edge in black as well the one that i'm going to be showing is the iconic rck9 with the combo edge of course, you get your sticker with it. This is a knife that I've honestly really been liking a lot. Wipe it off a little bit here. It is in D2 blade steel. Pocket clip is a deep carry pocket clip. Got some steel liners in there and it is a liner lock and it is butter drop shutty. So this is designed by uh, Chavez, Ramon designed this and Iconic asked um, if they could pick it up and use it as a design as well. So there is a Chavez with uh, titanium scales, which is also a frame lock. But this, if you're in a pinch and you only want to spend 90 bucks or, you know, you get a discount using code Barbarian. <laughs> I know I keep saying that. Um, you can uh, definitely get a lower price, so maybe you're not really sure if you would like it and you want to try this one out first. So, like I said, it's got D2 blade steel. It is black stone washed. And the blade length is 3.07 inches with a handle of 4.03 and an overall length of 7.10 inches. Bl uh, blade material, sorry, scale handle material are g10 it's a manual folder with a liner lock you can front flick it you can thumb flick it you got options it's just an all-around in my opinion this is a pocketable knife it doesn't weigh a whole lot 3.8 ounces you can wear this right or left handed if you want nope i take that back it is only right handed tip up so i take that back you can't swap this well, you probably could, but it is a recessed, so maybe you shouldn't do that. <laughs> Very cool. And, you know, you can get this engraved, so if you want to maybe get this for a gift, uh, $10 uh, House of Blades will custom engrave that. Another knife that I'm a fan of. I think uh, I'm a huge fan of anything Ramon Chavez does design. Definitely nailed it on this one. It's a very minimal as well here. I think personally I would go with the plain edge. I wouldn't get the combo. But then again, this would probably be a work knife. If I had the RCK9 from Chavez and this one, I would probably actually like the combo. Actually, now come to think about it, this would be a work knife versus and then the uh, RCK9 from Chavez would be my, uh, my fancy, you know, maybe going out knife. I'm a fan. Also, the packaging, I will say, is very nice. It's very, I don't know, I, I, I like it. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a very easy person though sometimes though, I suppose. 
All right, I'll put the sticker back in there. And then when you do open it up here, I should show that it's kind of cool. Life with an edge. Very cool knife, fan of it. I spoiled this, I know you guys were looking to see this here. You were excited. Um, this, this is, this is a piece that I just absolutely love this knife. So this is actually gonna be a, a House of Blaze exclusive with the blue micarta, the denim. Oh, just this unboxing of this is just, to me, it's just incredible. Pull that out here. Kind of a neat little thing to always show that off here. And if you get this, you do get a sticker with it. You get this whole pamphlet. You get the assembly. Oh, man, that is so cool. So if you do want to disassemble, reassemble. I know it comes with the, their extra. Oh, the grease is in there. Man, they get all the tools. That is sweet. But you really got to see the knife. It is beautiful. So you get this nice microfiber cloth unfolded here. All right, so there it is here. Whew, that's just beautiful. I'm a lanyard fan, so I would definitely keep that on there. And this is the denim micarta. Oh, it's so, so brand new, it's not even broke in. Not even broke in yet, but oh man. Oh, I just, I just, every time. So this is the small and cozy, so it's a lot smaller than the large. And honestly, I like that. I like how small it is. I, like I said, it doesn't fit in my hands. It's, it's definitely small, but that's perfect. If I'm carrying this, I'm probably going to be wearing, you know, uh, nicer clothes, uh, maybe some suit pants, because if I'm carrying this, something this nice, I'm probably looking nice. So this is the drop point. And this is actually the CPM Magna Cut. Oh man, this is the one to have. Honestly, it is so nice. Of course, you got the Idaho made on the scales here. Titanium. Just Chris Reeves, just, he knows. He knows what we like. Ah, oh, it's just, just classy. I don't even know what to say. I, I literally think I'll let the knife do the talking. Um, this is going to go for $600.00. Right now, um, I don't think there's any in stock. This might be the last one, and I don't think this is even going to be one for sale. Let me see here. I was just looking at that. Can you? Yeah, I think if you have it broken, yeah, you can. There you go. Yeah, you can do that. So when it's broken and it's yours and you break it in, you can do a lot more uh, fancy openings. I've seen guys flip these open, but like I said, this is so brand new. Never been touched, so, you know just me opening it a couple times and just show you guys. Blade length is 2.8 inches. You've got a handle length of 3.76 inches and a total overall length of 6.5 inches. Very small knife, it's not large at all, but that's okay. Like I said, if you're carrying this, you're probably like me and you know, this isn't gonna be a knife that you're bringing, you know, uh, out to uh, do some work on the farm. Well, I mean, it, I mean, it is a work knife. I guess you, you should really put it to work, but you know, if you're probably carrying a small and cozy, this is gonna be the knife you bring to a nice restaurant, out to a wedding. At least that's just how I look at it personally, I guess. Um, frame lock, it is very light. It's only three ounces. And the clip is honestly not ambidextrous because you get a frame lock. So it is the way it is. It's a right-handed tip-up pocket clip. So it is catered to the right-handed people. There are some left-handed ones out there. This personal one, or this specific one is what I should say, is you know, just a uh, right-handed tip-up. I just, I can't get over how beautiful it is. I, and I'm sorry for you know, drooling over this thing, but it is, ah. Oh. Beautiful. I love this knife so much and I apologize for, you know, sounding all gushy, but this is a grail knife for me. And uh, I'm lucky enough to honestly get my hands on it. And it's how small it is. Like I said, it, how light it is. It is, I'm, I want this. I want this so bad. I don't know. Every, the more I look at it, the more I see it, I just love it. And like I said, this is the blue one. This is a House of Blades exclusive. Like, oh, my card, I just, 
Ah, I'm sorry. You guys just got to look at it. It is beautiful. Oh, duh. Put that up against the watch. Woo-wee. Anyways, quit drilling over the knife, Mike, and uh, let's get on to the last one we have here. Hoofta. I just this is just a beautiful, beautiful knife. And I don't want to put it away because I just want to keep looking at it, but I gotta put it away because it's not mine. It's not mine. Put it away, Mike. Come on, put it away. The cloth that it comes with, that Chris Reeves. Oofta. Oofta. Alright, so here is the Tacto. This is the F3 Charlie in Damascus black. Let's take a look at it here. All right, so here it is on the website here. It's going for 129 and it is in stock. Another one that does come with a sheath. You got a sticker in there as well. If you know me, you know I like my little slaps here. <laughs> All right, the uh, sheath is pretty cool. Actually, it's a uh, basic, but it's got some extra things here. Ooh, you could put like a, uh, you can put your, Maybe put your pen on this side. Let's see here. You could put a pen in there and maybe something else on that side. That's pretty sweet. All right, so the mask is here. It is a flipper tab knife, of course. It is D2 steel. And honestly, this is what I like the most here. It's a button lock. It's very light. This is a, uh, a work knife, um, I guess kind of a larger knife. You could open it up. There you go. You can open it up with the button lock. I like it. I don't think it's $130 worth liking. Definitely use my discount for this one because uh, it's nice. Don't get me wrong. This is a work knife. I really think it's D2 steel, so you know you can really go to town with beating it up and then bring that edge right back. Pretty, pretty Beefy though. What is the weight on here? It is. Um, let's see here. Okay, it's four and a half ounces. I'll tell you what. That does not feel like four and a half ounces. Not that I'm like a connoisseur and I can really tell what it's what weights in my hand. But I just had a knife in my hand that was a lot lighter than this, and it didn't feel that much lighter. So let's just talk about quick specs here. I talked about the D2 steel. I like D2 steel. It's coated. The blade length is 3.8 inches, really close to that 4 inches, of course. And it is a 5.2 inch handle. That's pretty, that's pretty big. <laughs> and the overall length is 9 inches, so that's not a small knife. G10 scales. It is a manual folder. Button lock. This is not left-handed, so it's only right-handed. Tip up. This one's got the plain edge, okay. This, this is a beefy knife, and it's pretty neat here. Um, it says here, Portland. I do know that there are imported parts on here. This is the controversial part. I sh shouldn't really get into it too much. Um, yeah, so it does say made in Portland um, and imported parts. Do I know what are the imported parts, and do I know which parts are Portland? Eh, doesn't matter, but you know, I guess they are being honest about it, so that's good, that's good. Uh, pocket clip is not deep carry. Not that you probably would have this being a deep carry pocket. Like I said, this would be a knife that I'm carrying to the woods with me most likely. Um, you know, maybe going to the barn and, you know, cutting up some stuff really quick here. Or out in the garage type knife. It's pretty neat. Got a lanyard hole there. So deep carry pocket clip isn't a must. But that is the Tecto Charlie. Pretty sweet knife. Um... I like it as far as for what it is here. The sheath, like I said, this is this is going to be maybe maybe one of those knives. Uh, you've got yourself a kit. Uh, when I say kit, you know, like a vest or call it like a getaway kit. I don't know, but this would probably be something you left on there, and this would be like a spare backup knife for like your backpack or what have you. So these are the knives that uh, I'm showing off for you guys from House of Blades. You know, what are you guys' thoughts here? Which one's your favorite? You know. Put down in the comments which one you guys like the most here. And of course, use my link. Go check out House of Blades. A lot of good deals going on right now. A lot of really nice knives here. Um, I did just see the Benchmade Redoubt. Oh, I, I kind of want to get my hands on that one. 
next. <laughs> so put down in the comments here, which knife do you really like the most? I'm gonna be honest with you, that uh, CRK, Chris Reeves, I, I gotta look at it again. I just absolutely love this knife. I just, it, it is, it's just so classy. I like it so much. I'm gonna say here though, I really, really want this knife. And the problem I'm having with it is I love blue. Blue is one of my favorite colors. But if you know me, you know that my EDC consists on a lot of grays, a lot of blacks. And I would feel bad, honestly, getting the exclusive one from House of Blades in that blue denim micarta, which is honestly very, very beautiful. What I'm saying is I would love to buy this knife and mod it out. I would like to get it full on black. Oh, that would just... It would just be a dream come true, but we'll see. Would, would I feel bad doing that to a $500, $600, $700 knife? Yeah, I would. But on the other hand, I don't buy knives to flip them. I don't get knives for somebody else. They're for me. They're for what I want them for. So on the, at the end of the day, knives for me are for me. But man, I just, I just love this knife. Love it, love it, love it. What's your favorite knife out of the knives I've shown? Uh, do you like these kind of videos also, by the way? I want to keep doing more of them, or do you guys want to see the reviews done separately? Let me know in the comments because I, I like to keep showing this stuff off here. I do want to do more individual ones like I did the uh, Cold Steel. Uh, so take a look out. I will probably do more in-depth reviews on these knives individually, but I also just wanted to show off a bunch of knives on the table and see what you guys thought and uh, once again go to house of blades use my code barbarian 10 percent off get yourself a discount why pay full of rice right <laughs> i do get some kickback and it also helps me get more knives to show you guys here everybody have a great day here and make sure your coffee is stronger than your toddler swing the axe all right now I'm going to put all these back in the box here, and i got to put this away. It is just beautiful. I... Oh man, I have an addiction, and it's, it's, it's pretty prevalent. I love knives, flashlights, EDC gear. Holy smokes, I'm going to make some lunch. <laughs>